she's on the lookout for something. I feel like we have to help her out. I don't know what we're looking for, but I feel like we gotta watch her back for. Her. We are currently at Hollywood Studios and if you uh, took notice behind us, there is a giant ad at or an ATAT. -AT. Those things are amazing. This thing is huge, guys. I cannot even... I'm going to turn around and show you in just a second, but we are going to be headed into Toy Story Land and also to uh, Galaxy's Edge, which is the Star Wars land here. I'm going to show you guys around a little bit. We're ready to get into it, guys. Let's go. We're going to get as much done as we possibly can today. We do have a dinner reservation. We're going to take you guys there as well. So let's do it. So just to give you a size perspective, this is the size of this ad at and it's unbelievable, guys, for real. Look at the size of its, of its feet. So we're currently making our way into Galaxy's Edge, guys. This is so exciting. We've only ever been in here to like, what, twice? We've only ever been in here like twice before and we're so excited to be taking you guys with us. So I'm just gonna show you guys a little bit of what it looks like as you're walking through, just like you're here with us. The theming in this land is just unparalleled to any other areas of any of the parks, I would say. Like, it's just so next level, for real. Something happening up here. She's on the lookout for something. I feel like we have to help her out. I don't know what we're looking for, but... I feel like we gotta watch her back for her. There's a giant TIE fighter that is so cool. So here is the Millennium Falcon, guys. It's pretty amazing. Just look at the way it's set right here. And everything about this Millennium Falcon is amazing. awesome ride we've been on it a couple times before it's kind of one of those rides that's a little bit addicting and you guys will see why it's so much fun let's go guys let's get into it we are getting your ready to get arms, feet, and on this awesome ride and supervise your children we're getting ready to launch into orbit here we go guys this is so exciting for your right. safety safety <laughs> Missy's trying to, uh, nine, 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 she's dialing in the coordinates chosen. here okay, of where we gotta go. For your safety, please remain fully seated, no lap sitting, and keep your face covering on at all times. Thank you. All right, buddy, we're trusting you. Give us a ride of our lives. I'm holding on for dear life though. So is Lisa. We got our death grips on. I know this thing takes off. <laughs> this thing is not playing. Brace yourselves. 
Okay guys, so they just, uh, in the live stream, I was gonna try to, okay guys, so in the live stream, I was gonna try to show you the Slinky Dog coaster, but it wasn't running at the time, so I promised you that I would include it in the vlog, so I'm gonna see if we can see a train go by here. I just saw them running, so we're gonna just be patient and wait a couple minutes. Here it comes. Here it comes. Here we go. There he goes, up, up, and away. All right, we're getting ready to head into Mama Melrose's for dinner. And we're going to show you guys a little bit inside and our food as it comes out. All right, we are headed back to our table, guys. So festive in here, always so bright with the um, the lights. So as you guys can see, the decor in here is really cool. Lots of like memorabilia stuff on the wall. Lisa's right over here looking at her phone right now. <laughs> Waiting for my special Italian dish. Tell them what you got. Um, it's a spaghetti. Mama Melrose is Italian pasta, maybe? Something, Mama Something of that nature. Italian pasta. And I got the char broiled steak. I've had it here before. It's really good, guys. So when our food comes out, we're going to go ahead and show you what it looks like. They brought us some delicious dinner rolls, so we're going to go ahead and have some of that. And, um, I got my iced tea, Lisa got her Coca-Cola. Good. So we're gonna show you the food as it comes out, guys. So there it is, up close and personal. Fresh tomatoes and basil, looks so good. I think there's fresh garlic in there also. <laughs> oh, look at that. Spaghetti. Spaghetti. It's a lot of right. natural. That's her fave, she just loves spaghetti, guys, in case she didn't know. And this is what I ordered, this is the charbroiled steak, it looks divine. It's got some Chianti reduction there and some fancy mac and cheese with some penne pasta. Yum, yum. I can't wait to try it. It looks delicious. So we will let you guys know how it is when we are all done. We are just finishing our meals and everything was so good. But I think we're going to get ready to head out of the park shortly. Just wanted to say that I do highly recommend the char grilled, char grilled, the char grilled steak. It's divine. It was so good. Um, I will say that wasn't as good as the Crystal Palace. The prime rib at the Crystal Palace was definitely the highlight meal of this trip, but I would highly recommend it. The mac and cheese was on point. It had some smoked ham in there. Oh my goodness, let me tell you. Perfect pairing with that steak. I'm gonna let Lisa tell you how hers was. <laughs> so, Happy. tell me about your dining experience this afternoon. Very good, very light, and it also I liked it had fresh garlic and some herbs. Um, just really blended well without being very heavy like the uh, marinara and meatballs. We yeah, it definitely looked like a very healthy dish. Mm, more healthy. No, I enjoyed it. If I wasn't jonesing for a steak, I probably would have got that too because it looked really awesome. Yeah, I feel good. I feel 
beautiful. I feel good. <laughs> I'm ready, waiting for her to bust out in a dance. That's Italian. Very good. So we're probably gonna get uh, ready to head out of the park in a couple minutes, guys, after we finish our dinner. Uh, it's been a great day. It really has. It's very nice here, ambiance. Yeah, we like the ambiance in here. It's very relaxing. And we were lucky enough to snag a booth. Lisa asked <laughs> specifically for a booth because at the end of the day, it's the most relaxing way to enjoy a restaurant. It feels more private, more relaxed. All right, so right before we're leaving, I got Lisa a little surprise. You guys know how much she loves the popcorn buckets. She really wanted this one and I totally surprised her. So wait till you see it. She's so excited. Watch what she's doing. Whoa, there it goes. <laughs> she is flying her Millennium Falcon like no other. Skirt. That is the most interactive popcorn bucket that I've ever seen. Now we did not get our popcorn in the bucket because it doesn't look like it even would hold that much. So we decided to just get the box. <laughs> which we actually ended up not even eating because we were so full from dinner. But we didn't get it for the popcorn. We got it for the Millennium Falcon. That's so cool. And Lisa was so, so what did you feel when I gave it to you? I was so excited. I know, I she loves. Earlier, somebody had one. I'm like, where'd they get that? She loves Star Wars so much and she really loves these popcorn buckets, so. I had to do it. We'll figure out how to open it when we get Yeah, it. we're gonna figure that out later on. Okay guys, we had an amazing day here at Hollywood Studios. Uh, we took you around Star Wars, Galaxy's Edge, and also showed you around at Toy Story Land. And we took you along for dinner at Mama Melrose's. So all in all, it was a pretty great day. Anything you want to add? Oh, I feel good. I'm, we're tired. Time to, Time to hit the road for sure. Uh, you know, it just it's funny. Like, no matter how long you're at Disney, it just never seems like it's long enough. You could be here for, like, probably three months, and it's still would never be enough time to do everything. That's why we're always coming back here. There's always something more to do. It's different every time. So, you know, we just like to try to enjoy ourselves. But at the same time, since we're pass holders, we don't feel the need to do every single thing and every single park every time we go, which is kind of nice because it, it helps you relax a little bit too, which is really what it's all about. Well, looks like the crowds have died down too. So I think it's I think we're shutting it down again. I think we are shutting it down, guys. So we had a great time. We're glad you could join us. And we'll see you on our next Raptor, Raptor Adventure. Adventure.